November in London, we are going to be testing out the 28 mil pancake and the 40. Can you see that? There you go. Um, these are the two compact non-pancake, but pancake lenses for the Nikon Z lineup. I've got the 28 mil special edition. Con's got the 40 mil F2 because I've already shot with that a fair bit. And we're going to just do some street photography and test the lenses out and let you know the results and try not to freeze in the meantime. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh yes, I think I got it. You found the shot that you want? And no one will know where, how I took it. <laughs> Unless they see that video. <laughs> Unless we show it on our YouTube channel. Very good. Happy? Yeah. If you ever want um, a nice bit of afternoon royal tea, we the... have the Rubens. The afternoon tea with corn or Becky? Yes. I assume it's a Harry Potter thing. Yes. Yeah, you assume it's a Harry Potter thing. Can I just can I just one second? Can you Do you not know what house you're in, Con? I'm in House of Cards. <laughs> <laughs> From any of you who watched our previous videos, you know how Becky feels about wide-angle lenses and close-up photography. I like to see how close it can go. The fisheye lens in particular is your favorite one. So today, the 28 mm it almost feels like a portrait lens. It does. I think that this is doing an admirable job, actually. Do you feel it's not enough distortion for your liking? There's no distortion. I just like the depth of field. I'm quite impressed with, look, how pretty that depth of field is, if you can see that. That's pretty here. good. Yeah. That's pretty good. I give, I give this one to you. I use everything for close-up. Uh, here we are in a, a Buckingham Palace. Buck Pal. And it's still freezing. It's still very cold. All right, back. So you know the distance, yeah? Uh -huh. You know the drill. So here I am. Here you are. Can you fit the whole building in with your 28? Please. Please. Of course I can. All right. I got okay. the whole building and then some. All right. Let me see if I can do that with 40 minutes. Okay. All right. So. You see, I'm not. I'm just making it in. Yeah. But if I go back about five meters, walk on the grass. Because to walk I'm on. London, I can do that. If you're a tourist, you can't. No. So, and about now, it's much more breathing room. Okay, I want to compare yours by mine. Let's see. So, it's about five meter difference, okay. plus minus another five meters. Well, let's just have a little look here. You see, it's still tighter. But when you were further away, I mean, yeah. when you were closer? And when I'm close shot? is this. Right. That's a considerable difference. Yeah, absolutely. A bit less distortion, but at the same time, yeah, you can be much closer in your face with the lens. It's true. Here's a proof of grace of us means to be in a London shop. He's back in London, okay. in actual London. Oh, now there's no one here. Okay, let me do this shot. Don't move too far because the green screen is going to end. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm interested to see how our... I was going to say, how are verticals? Yeah. Okay. Let me do the close-up thing. Okay. So I'm almost stealing this close-up shot from you. Yeah. But my lens is not as wide, which makes me a bit jealous, but it still will do. You know, at F2, the bokeh almost looks like a soft box effect. Really? So I have to stop it down to about a 4 And I think I'm going to just underexpose a little bit to make that pool color make it really really rich black how interesting looks pretty good yeah <laughs> Thank you.
Ah, look at that. Look at that. What's that? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yes. But you see that? You see that? Nice. I've been waiting for five hours for this shot. Five whole hours. Exactly. And we froze to death. You know, right. the 40 was the right lens for that job. Yeah? Do you know what well, I mean? Well, you'd have to be a bit closer, but... Uh, <laughs> I think it calls for extra yellow-white balance. Extra yellow. You know, just to get the colors in. Right. Am I on your shot? Ah, don't mind me. I already took my <laughs> <laughs> Yes, charming. I already took my shot. That's really good, actually. Too close. <laughs> Yay. Amazing. <laughs> but you had some like really lovely portraits sort of almost. Yes. This is the best. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Can I take your picture? Oh, okay. How about if I put my camera down here? Is that okay? How about Aww. I give you five pounds? <laughs> Thank you. You posed so beautifully. Here's Becky Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> Becky Doolittle, <laughs> Dr. Doolittle. Now this one definitely needs overexposure. That's what I've been... Ah! No, there's a pigeon on me! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 40 is better for this. Yeah, it's just that little bit tighter. So. Okay, so we spent the whole day on a freezing cold. What are your thoughts, Becky? That I'm cold? Yeah, can you still think? Just clearly? about. Yes, it's very cold, but uh, I used the 40 mil for the last week. Yes. And then I switched over to the 28 mil for today. Mm -hmm. I do think that I would have liked to have had the 40 mil for today. It's just mm -hmm. that little bit tighter. Both lenses are very portable for that small kind of light carry around, yeah. non-pancake but pancake style thing. How, you, this is your first experience with the 40, so That's how did true. you find it? Never tried it before. I think for the money, mm. you can't really complain about them because, okay, they're not the shops in the world, mm. um, but they're better than average, I can yeah. tell you that. So they will beat any zooms in terms of sharpness. Yeah, I kind of liken it to, you know, the 24 to 50, yeah. which is a similar size, um, is actually not as sharp as, mm -hmm. as these two in terms of performance. Yeah. It's a good kind of walk around, That's go true. anywhere lens. But if you're more prime oriented, I would say, then one of these would be a good, a good fit. Absolutely. I feel like 40 is probably better suited for just everyday photography because it's not too wide. It's just wide enough to fit a lot of things. And for today, it was pretty good because with sometimes with wide angle, especially with birds, mm. you want to get close and you can't. So, yeah. But I feel like if you would be somewhere in Oxford Circus with four people crossing, the 28 would do better yeah. because you literally, you want to shoot, but you want to have person literally right next to you. Yeah. And that's how you're going to get the street light documentary style. Yeah, so, that was what I was missing here, I think, was that it was almost, there weren't enough people in order to really get the benefit of the 28. But as a street lens, yeah. it works really well. I think the, the, the sheer size of them, they're so small yeah. that it makes a lot of difference. So if you look at, let's say, 518, it's almost double the size of this. So, yeah. If I have to think twice when I'm leaving and I'm going for a short walk, yeah. 
and I don't want to carry much, then yeah. definitely 40 or 28 would be my way to go. Yes, exactly. Um, also think that putting these on a DX camera mm -hmm. is a nice thing to do as well, because obviously this one, then you've got your kind of 42-ish focal length, and on that one you've got a 60. Which is nice. I also like 60, because yeah, 50 sometimes, I find that maybe for close-up portraiture is not as good, because you get a little bit of distortion for that. So 60 would be for like just covered face, stuff like this would be quite useful. F2 would also give you a nice depth of field. Mm -hmm. And then 28 would be equivalent of about 40, 42 millimeters focal distance. So it would be this lens, this lens would be on DX and this lens in the shot in a nutshell. There you go. Which of the two lenses would you get yourself or both? You never know. And if you have any experience with lens, do let us know how you get on with them. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe. And if you've used either of these lenses, why not drop us a comment? Bye-bye.